hello and welcome to my channel um, I'm doing a unicorn set in this video I'm just getting a size 4 tip um, for that nail um, I'm using forms in this video um, the tips sort of splay out a little bit at the ends so I'm just filing that so it comes out straight and then rounding off the end of the tip And um, I'm using these extra long um, forms. I'm doing stilettos and customising the form to fit the nail. I do those two little slits so that it'll bend round and make a nice C curve. <clears throat> I'm just attaching that to the finger. I've put some tape on there to try and stick the form to that rather than the silicone, but it didn't work very well as you can see it's it's coming unstuck so I tried to keep hold of it while I was applying the acrylic so that it didn't move I'm just uh, applying a thin clear base um, if you did this on a on a person it would give you something to file back to um, when you're doing a redesign or an infill um, but in this case I'm doing it because it gives me a nice base to work on it means I can take the form off once that's set and just work on that and not have to worry about the form moving about I'm just testing that with my finger to see if it's warm. Um, when it gets warm, you know it's ready to be pinched. And that's now dry. And I'm now filing it into a nice shape before I start applying the uh, acrylic, the coloured acrylic. I'm getting those sides nice and straight. I'm supporting the tip as much as possible when I'm filing it um, to prevent it from breaking or I'm trying to keep it in the, the groove in the silicon hand as well. It tends to work its way out as you're filing. Now I'm just cheating a little bit there. <clears throat> Obviously, I'd, because it does work its way out as you're filing, it's... Uh, it's a lot easier to file it off the hand. <laughs> you don't get that problem with people. And I'm happy with that now. <clears throat> and just like on Blue Peter, <laughs> here's someone made earlier. I just uh, wanted to show you on one. It would have taken a long, you know, too long to 
to do all of them on the video okay so um i'm now going in on the ring finger um originally i was gonna do one finger at a time <coughs> and um make a separate video for each each nail um but i didn't end up doing that but because I, that was the plan i uh did this nail from start to finish and the next one as well i think oh no i didn't no but I did this one from start to finish. <clears throat> Actually ended up doing this video in two parts. So this is part one. It is, <clears throat> it is, there is a lot of video because, um, Sorry, excuse me, I've got a bit of a funny uh, throat. I don't know if it's because I had my COVID jab on Monday. It's Wednesday today. So, um, yeah, I'm just starting to get a little bit of side effects, I think. My arm feels very heavy <clears throat> and it hurts where they actually gave me the injection. It didn't hurt at the time. It's just started to this morning <clears throat> and I've got a little bit of a funny cough a little bit of a cough apart from that i'm okay i haven't got a fever or anything like that so so far so good so i'm marbling on this nail um with these i've got uh, a more which is a core powder um and blue hue and i think that's lilac pearl that I'm using and then I cap that in the crystal glass I was saying um, video is quite long because obviously it's a unicorn set there's quite a lot of detail um, especially on this finger and on the middle finger which I do a, a, a unicorn face on and uh, I do some water decals on the um, index finger as well <laughs> so it, it all takes quite a lot of time which is why I had to split the video. I don't want to go over half an hour for a video, it's too long. This set took quite a lot of acrylic to do because it's a, such a long set <clears throat> so your apex has to be higher to uh, give it that strength so yeah it takes quite a lot of acrylic I kept applying it thinking that that would be enough and then looking at it thinking no it actually needs some more <laughs> I was quite happy with that marble, but um, obviously because it's a, a unicorn horn, I put the um, ridges on it, and then uh, I put a, a powder, an effect powder. It's uh, 
can't remember if it's a mermaid powder or a shell. Um, I've had it for years and um, it's got no label on it or anything to say what it is. But it's very pretty and it's got a kind of purple effect to it. So um, it goes really well with the set. But uh, it does sort of hide the marble a bit, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm pinching that nail again. Um, I, w I, w I was trying to get it as narrow as possible before I did the ridges. Um, I filed off camera and I am now doing the ridges on the nail. I sort of go across at an angle and then sort of um, curve it down slightly at, at the bottom there and up at the other side to go with the way that the marble goes. It's a bit difficult to explain, but you can see what I'm doing there. It took a fair bit of time doing this because it's such a long nail. You can still kind of see the marble at this point. It's when I put the powder on it, you sort of lose the marble. But never mind, it looked amazing, so I wasn't too upset. <laughs> Strangly bit there. I'll get that off with my nails in a minute. I was careful not to get it on my skin. Okay, so I let that set and then I came in with my e-file um, with this um, bit 
it's quite rounded at the end so it gets in between those ridges quite nicely and just make sure they're nice and straight and even between each one and that they're nice and smooth And then I go in with hand file to neaten up those uh, edges and underneath where I, if I've got any acrylic that's uh, run down a bit. Just to get that nice shape back and then over the surface of the ridges just to make sure nice and smooth and all the same sort of height. Dust off with my dusty brush and then I give it a wipe over with a lint free wipe and a little bit of acetone uh, to remove any leftover dust and it also sort of melts the, the very surface of the acrylic just to just makes it nice and smooth and that's how it looks oh, missed a bit <laughs> There we go. And then I go in with my CJP Time to Shine Top Coat. It's a tack free top coat um, for the effect powder to go on to. Took quite a lot of top coat getting in all those ridges. Starting to look rather good though, isn't it? <laughs> that goes into the lamp. And I'm just getting my powder ready. And now applying that with a um, sponge applicator. Giving it a good rub in. You can see that purple sheen to it. It's so pretty. It does tend to get everywhere though, that powder. <laughs> I'll give it a dust off. Picked up the wrong brush there. <laughs> That's better. And then I go in. This is an old top coat. Um, it's still CJP, but it's a, the um, tack free top gloss, um, which I was using until I discovered they did Time to Shine. So now I just use this one for glitter nails or effect powders or whatever that so it doesn't matter too much if you get a bit of glitter or whatever in it obviously you don't want glitter in your in your main top coat so I keep a separate bottle for it it's getting a bit low so I'm tipping up the bottle
And let's just get a little bit of the top coat off the silicon hand there where it got on. Somehow managed to get on there. Okay, and there we go, that one's all done. Um I'm getting ready for to do the second one. I thought I'd finished there. Obviously I didn't. Okay. So I do the little finger next and it's a glitter fade. So I start off with the lavender pearl. Let the cuticle and fade that up to about halfway up the nail. This powder seems to clump a little bit on the uh, finger, it's hard to get it smooth. Go, go in with another little bead in the end just to smooth it over. Oh no, I didn't. Didn't need to, okay. <laughs> I'm going in with this glitter. Um, I'll, I'll put in the description box below what, what the glitter is. I can't remember offhand. It's very pretty. It goes rather well with a unicorn set. All sorts of bits in there, chunky bits and fine bits and some tinsel. I was watching a live with um, Natalie Mugridge a couple of weeks ago and um, she was doing a giveaway and um, she had some of the tinsel and somebody commented and said and called them fairy pubes <laughs> and everybody was calling them fairy pubes which is quite funny <laughs> just thought i'd mention that Yeah, if you like to have a giggle, watch um, Natalie Mugridge videos. <laughs> She's hilarious. You love her. Okay, have I finished? <laughs> yeah, finished now. Okay, so that was part one. Um, if you want to see part two, um, like and subscribe and uh, click the notification bell, you'll get a notification.